And hello YouTube, this is GS Mario Smart, and I'm going to you a brand new video for Tutorials in GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to remove static and background noise, buzzing noises, hissing noises, any sort of sound that you hear in your video that you don't want. We're going to be showing you how to remove that from a video file. Now, on my main channel, I already have a video showing you how to remove static and background noise from an audio file. And if you have never done this before, I do suggest you watch that because I do go a little more in depth on how to remove static from audio. We're going to be using some of the same techniques in this video, so check that out if you have not yet. But if you're familiar with audio and you're familiar with some of the programs we're using today, then I think you'll be fine. So the, the programs you're going to need today to remove static or background noise from videos, you're going to need a file converter. I'm going to be using a website called Online Convert. I will leave the link to this website in the description below. You can use this website if you'd like. You can also download a file converter that will do it for you as well. However, I'm just going to be using this website since it has tons of different converters and it's very simple and very easy to use. So if you want to use a downloaded one and install one, you can do that. Or if you just want to use this website, it's very simple, you can use that as well. Uh, the other thing you'll need is Audacity, which is a free audio editing software. I am using version 2.1.1. Uh, the, the same steps apply for older versions, so it shouldn't be too different. But just letting you know, because some people do have those questions. And we're going to be using Movie Maker just because everyone typically has this. Uh, the same steps will typically apply to any other video editor that you're using. In fact, if you are using a Premiere Pro, the Adobe version, or if you're using Sony Vegas video editor or any other video editor, they may give you the option to separate your audio and edit your audio separately. In that case, you would not need to uh, convert your video into audio. However, if you don't know what I'm talking about, completely just follow the steps. It can be a bit confusing. So anyway, the goal is to convert your video file into an audio file. Reason being is that if you're using Movie Maker, if, you, if we go ahead and drag a video file in here, it will not allow us to edit the sound. For example, here is our test uh, video right here. I'll go ahead and show you what this sounds like. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So that's what the original video sounds like and you hear there's a, there's a ton of static and background noise in the back and we're going to try to take that out. However, you go ahead and drag this video into Movie Maker, it will not allow you to edit the audio and this is what I was saying earlier, if you have a different video editor, you may be able to edit the audio separately because your audio channel will basically be shown at the bottom of your video here. However, if you're using a simple video editor like Movie Maker, it won't allow you to do that. So you are forced to convert the file into an audio file. Uh, regardless, I do recommend you convert your file if, whether you have a different video editor or not because you do want to drag it into Audacity which will help you edit your audio in an advanced manner and give you a lot of different options. So that's why we're converting our file. So what we want to do is go to this website right here. As I said, I do have the link in the description and what you want to do is go on the right side here and search for a supported file types and go ahead and type your video file type in here. I, was, I recorded an MP4. Whether you have a desktop recording, a screen recording, a video recording with a camera, a phone, you know, whatever, just type in the file type here. If you don't know what file type you have, it says it right at the end of your name of the file. If not, you can just right click properties and it should tell you in the pop up box right here that it's an MP4 file. Maybe it's a W, maybe it's a uh, WMV file for you, maybe it's a uh, MOV file for you. You know, you have to check. But you want to go ahead and type that in here and we're, we want to convert it to a WAV file because that is the highest quality. You can convert it into an MP3 if you'd like, which does give you a smaller size for the file. But if you want to keep all the quality WAV, it is a, a slightly larger file. But go ahead and click go then and we'll search for a converter. Here is the converter MP4 to WAV converter. And like I said, this website has tons of different converters. And what we want to do then here is click choose file and go ahead and click our test file, which is our test MP4. And 
I've actually already done this. That's why I have uh, these right here. Let me go ahead and uh, delete these just so you guys don't get confused. Delete. Okay. So once you have that there, you should see right here test.mp4. Your name, the file, the name, the name of your file should be right here. You can change some of these settings if you'd like. However, I don't recommend you change anything. Just keep it all the same and go ahead and click convert file. Now, like I said, if you'd like to uh, download a program that does this, you can actually do multiple files at once. But, you know, this is a simple way to do it. As you see, it's pretty quick. It's also a short video. Depending on the, uh, the length of your video, the longer it may take. Once we have it downloaded here, it automatically downloads. We're just going to drag it into our folder here for convenience. And what you'll notice now is that the file that we listened to earlier, the same thing you'll hear in this file, only there's no video to it. Testing, one, two, three. As you see, the same content in this video, only there's no video to it, which is what we want. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and drag this file into Audacity. If you get a box like this, this, just click OK. And you'll see that now we have the file in here. Now, if we listen to this. Testing, one, two, three. You can clearly see where the static the static is. This section right here has our voice and this section right here has the static. If you have a really good microphone, usually you won't see any audio waves in this area. But we have blue audio waves here, which means that the recording software is picking up uh, static. To remove this, all we have to do is highlight the content that we want to remove. We want to remove this content, so we're going to highlight it. Go up to effects, noise reduction, go up to effects, noise reduction, and click get noise profile. This will basically get the information of, of this content that you've highlighted. And next step is to highlight where you want to remove this content from. We want to remove this content from the entire track. So just go ahead and click Control A, Command A on a Mac. You can also double click this space right here and go to Effect again, Noise Reduction, and just go ahead and click OK. Make sure you have Reduce selected here. And when we listen to it again, testing one, two, three. Some of the static has disappeared. If you want more of the static to disappear, just go ahead and click Effect, Repeat Noise Reduction. Testing one, two, three. And as you can see, even more of the static is gone. Now, be aware, be aware when you do this multiple times, you may be altering your voice even. And if you do it too many times, uh, your voice will start to sound different and it will sound kind of weird. So one suggestion I have for you is don't do it too often. Don't try to get it too perfect. Uh, you, know, you don't want to have this loud background noise if you have it on your microphone. And uh, if you see that you're still getting lots of background noise, then I think it may be best to invest in a new microphone instead. But another suggestion I have for you is that if you want to change with the if you want to change the settings a bit, if you see that you still see a lot of static, or you see that your voice is being cut off or being changed, uh, try to play around with the noise reduction settings a bit and the sensitivity settings a bit. Don't change this last option, but see if you can change values of these two settings and uh, see what you like best. I would recommend starting with an extreme value all the way to the top or an extreme value all the way to the bottom and then slowly adjusting it and seeing what you like. You do have a preview option here, so it's very easy to just change values, preview, and see what you like. Uh, this is arbitrary. You know, I cannot give you values that work for every microphone. Every sound recording is going to be different for everyone. So just find which values work best with your microphone, and then um, you'll basically just have this always. Every time you open up Audacity, these settings will stay the same. These are the default settings, though, so if, if it works default for you, then uh, these settings work for you, then great. If not, just move the sliders a bit, see what you like, click preview, and then uh, you'll have it saved. But just remember, you can repeat this process to perfect it. But when we listen to this entire track now, or just a portion of it, testing one, two, three, we'll see that the static is gone. And the next step would then be to uh, bring this file back to the video, because right now we have a video uh, just with the static, which is this right here. 
So the next step is to basically grab our new audio file and add it to this video file while deleting the audio from this video file, which is very easy as well. Once what you want to do next is go to file and audacity, go to export audio. And we're just going to name this new test. This chart, you can just click okay. And it will have saved. And as you'll see, this is our old audio that has the static. This is our new audio that has a static. And this is our old video that has static. So to actually add this audio to your video, what you want to do is go over to Movie Maker here and go ahead and drag your old video into the video editor. And you'll notice that this, this video still has the old audio. So what you want to do is mute the old audio. Go up to video, the yellow tab up here. On the left side, click video volume and make sure this goes all the way down to zero. Drag it all the way to the left. This will mute the volume of the entire video. When we play it, you'll see that there's no audio, only the video is there. The next thing we want to do is go back to our folder here and drag our new audio into Movie Maker. And you'll see now when the track is at the bottom here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. As you see, now our video has the new audio and all you have to do now is go to file. Oops, not that. I pressed the wrong button there. Go up to file, save movie. And if you want to keep the same quality, you want to make sure you don't lose any quality, make sure you do it for high definition display. This will make the file size larger and may, may take, uh, it may make rendering take longer as well. But for our case, we're just going to go for a computer so I can show you guys what it sounds like. And we're going to name this new test. Now, same steps apply if you're using a different video editor. Uh, you basically just drag the new file into, you just drag the new file into the uh, video editor with the old file with the video muted. And, uh, you know, if you have an advanced editor like After Effects, you are able to edit audio inside the editor. But, um, you know, it, it depends different for each video editor. So once we have that done, we can play this. Testing one, two, three. Two, three. So that's our new file, and then we compare it to our old file. Testing one, two, three. As you see, one has static, one doesn't have static. So now you can just go and upload this video to YouTube without any static, and it'll sound like you actually have a pretty decent microphone. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to answer your questions. If you have a very broad question or a big question that I, you know that I can't answer in a response, I'll probably make a video for you. Uh, this specific video was requested by several people now, so I decided I'd make a video for it. So if you, you know, need help with anything else, definitely in the comments below. I do have plenty of other videos. I have a video on how to use Audacity. If you're new to Audacity and you want to learn how to use this software, I have a uh, tutorial on how to use Audacity. If you want to learn how to use Movie Maker, I have a video tutorial on that as well. So, you know, if you're unfamiliar with things, you can get familiar with them through those videos. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.